Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Online, where we have one of the toughest questions we've ever had to uh, deal with, which is Jace the Mind Sculptor, which I've never actually drafted in the Vintage Cube since it's, since it's been up this time. I know what I would take. And there's a Mox. What would you take? Jace. Over the Mox? Yep. God. Why? He's so good. He's very good. He's insane. Like, Mox is really good, don't get me wrong, but... Jace, boy. Woo-hoo. You'll have the chat decide. The chat is saying gutter snipe and him. Because <laughs> they're all trolls. Him, high tide, four storm. I think it's Jace. I think if this is a blue mox or like a, or a black, black mox. mox, yeah. I'm going to take Jace. Who even, who even likes white man? What can you even do with that? Just cast little creatures that die? Who, <laughs> hey, who wins? A one piece of jewelry? <laughs> Or, or this blue or, boy. Or one blue boy. <laughs> this this, this $1,000 jewelry or one blue boy. It's always the blue boy, right? Ooh, I like a coercive portal. I got real excited for a second, but then it was the wrong... God, do we just... Look at this. This is just all I want to do in the cube. I just want to play Primeval Titans. All I want to do is play big, stupid green cards and powerful card-drawing blue cards. I'm going to let you guys pick. The sound of power. Let's see what this is. That was a great clip, actually. Let's go. Let's go portal, so we don't have to be green. Oh God, it's. Is it visions? Is visions better than portal? I don't think so. I like visions. I'm gonna take vision because we haven't tried it in this cube yet. So whatever. God, no! It's like I just want to take slime or lumbering falls. I guess search for us contest good though. Keeps us on blue. I think it could have been Titan, but I really don't want to run back the same draft. Uh, I want to keep it. I want to mix it up a little bit. And I think Vision or Coaster Portal are just very good as well. I think it's Search for Azkanta here. I like that. Plus, it also lets us be a uh, Rabbit Clash. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. It lets us be a reanimation deck, potentially. Ooh, maybe we just be the Tezzeret deck. Or the Mana League deck. I do like the Mana League deck a lot. It's probably I like, I like that deck better than the Tezzeret deck. Okay, then. All right. Problem solved. I like the I like the mono blue deck a lot actually. Ooh, over that Sphinx rev though. This will probably come back. Three cards are coming back, probably not. Not on your chinny chin chin. I think it's still Cryptic Command though. It's a good card. It also means we don't have to be white. I think we've done blue white a lot. We missed Mentor, but I don't really like Mentor that much. I don't think we've done blue white a lot. I've oh I've done I think I've done two or three when you were gone. Oh. I feel like I default to blue white when you're not hanging out. Yeah, I think it's Cryptic Command here. We also have Jace. I don't think we need Sphinx's Revelation yet. Although, good lord. Do we just play Blue-Red Control? Also, Exhume. Yeah, it's pretty late Exhume. We just passed the Reanimate, too. Could just be God Pharaoh's Gift, which is basically colorless Exhume. You just don't like this card, though. I just think it's kind of slow. So are you. Yeah, well... I'm not a card. Thank God. Wow. Wow. Could be Vertex. I think Exhum is better, though. I think Exhum is the better card. But we don't really have ways to... I don't like having to get a bunch of ways to put cards in the graveyard. I think it's a better pick than Supreme Verdict, though, so I'm going to take it. Eh, I actually don't hate Skin Render. Or is it Thing in the Ice? Ooh, do we just play Thing in the Ice? Are we a Thing in the Ice deck? It could be. I think it's Thing in the Ice. Ooh, that's exciting. Batter Skull, Recurring Nightmare, Geist of St. Traft. What's it going to be? Mike, this is your grandma. You better not be rolling a marijuana cigarette back. <laughs> I'd take Nightmare. Yeah? Even though our only creature right now is Thing in the Ice, you think it's better than Batter Skull? 
Batter Skull's just good, I think. It's okay. Yeah, I think it's Batter Skull because then we can, if we get a Storm Stoneforge Mystic, then we just go. To be fair, Batter Skull is like a thing in the ice that you, you just always have flipped. Just a creature, it's good. I think most creatures are like that, right? <laughs> most creatures are creatures that you don't have to work for. Ooh, is it Only Mannequin? Or is it, or is it him to Thwark? No, I don't like him to Thwark because like we have a lot of heavy blue commitments. I think it's just Mannequin here. Storm might be open, but I don't think we're a Storm deck. Yet. I'm going to take him because if we get uh, any good black fixing, it's pretty reasonable. What was the land? Mishra's Factory? Mutavolt? I guess it's just this guy. It looks like we might be white. Or uh, black, rather. Okay. Spell Pierce. Gifts. You don't. You think it's for what, though? Really? Just to try it out. I hate. I hate gifts. I'm never good at making gifts piles. They always put the good cards I want in the graveyard. Well, then you're definitely not good at it. I think I just want spell Pierce. Man, that's a main board card. What are you doing, boy? It is actually a main a main deck card. What? Why tell you what? Take land tax in case we're white. I think your blue white deck will be pretty good here. We only have land tax though. We can take go for the throat and just be blue black. Could also have day of my land tax, which is pretty good for blue white. Is him and go for throat better though? Don't know. Because we also have exhume. Well, sure. Now you can be both. Now we're just Esper, I guess. Unfortunately, that skin rider didn't come out. Mike, you're looking especially lovely today. Did you do something new? Is this a new shirt? This is a new shirt. There you go. He got a new shirt. He got a new shirt, boy. Got a new shirt, boy. Went down to my local shirt, boy, and I was like, hey, give me that, boy. Why did you say it like that? That's how I talk. I've never heard you talk like that before in my life. Is it just Bitter Blossom? That seems pretty good. Or is it Worn Power Stone? I just take Through the Breach because I'm a savage and hope for the best. My God, we have so many non... We don't have any red cards, though. Yet. We could be Esper, but I don't like not having Esper fixing. I guess we could take Scrubland. I think it's Bitter Blossom. Bitter Blossom's also good if we get any equipment. We can just put it on that bad boy. Like a Batter Skull, huh? It's true. Yeah, I think it's Bitter Blossom. Oh! Oh! oh get, get rewarded. Yeah, if you pass a mox, you get past a mox. That's how it works. Well, no, I mean, staying... I, well, I was I was referring to staying in black, oh. but... Oh, that's great. That's just great. I hope this Cloudscape Trade comes your back. your mox pearl for a mox jet. I'll take that any day of the week. Oh, I like a factor fiction. How do you feel about factor fiction? I think it's pretty good. I think it's uh pretty good. It's hey. I don't know what you're doing right now. Deck fading. That's true, but we have no red again. Yet. I don't know why you keep saying yet. Is it just Urborg? Urborg could be real good for us. We could also take Misty Rainforest in case we open uh Underground Sea or Water Grave. It also shuffles with Jace, which is nice. That's pretty good. Urborg does let us play turn two him to Torok as well. I think I like Urborg better. Eh, murderous Cut's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Murderous Cut it is. Oh, Demir Signet? Dang, we're getting everything on color. This is great. We do need some wind conditions, though. What's boneless pizza? <laughs> do you order your pizzas bone in? Fact or fiction, just boneless gifts ungiven. So it's the better version. Yeah, you're right. Is it dark petition or compulsive research? Compulsive. Over dark petition? 100%. Really? Mm -hmm. This is This is a tutor. Sometimes. I mean, in this deck, probably always. Well, it's always a tutor, but sometimes it gives you mana. I mean, this, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's almost always going to be... Oh, Murderous Cut, too. <laughs> that's not even... All right, we're going to take Compulsive, but I, I, I don't know if I love it. 
Really? Have you played that card, man? Oh, I think Compulsive is great, but Dark Petition is just a a demonic tutor in this deck is pretty good. I'm gonna take Zealous. Yeah, I'm just gonna take Conscripts here. I think it's better than Misstep, and uh, unless our opponent goes, uh, God, through the breach too. Yeah, to be fair, Jace is one condition. I would take through the breach. Yeah, I'm going to do that actually, because these two are, these two cards are just very strong. Boneless pizza, you know. Oh God, here we go. I can see this link, so we're gonna check it out. Oh my god, okay, that's enough. <laughs> what kind of pizza? Let me get a boneless pizza. And a two liter. Right next to the skinless chili. Hmm. Oh boy. Skinless chili. That guy's response made me think it was fake. Like, Maybe it was. Maybe it's not intended to be real, but I look for realness in my in my crank calls. Prank calls? Wait, why do you think it's a prank call? Well, because it had a phone ringing at the beginning of the thing. So? You just ordered a boneless pizza. I'm done with you. What's the holdup here? Where's our picks? Oh, Razaketh, Damnation, and a Riffling Cloudscape. God, all Definitely three of the cards. It. I would take Damnation. Over Cloudy? Mm -hmm. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. <laughs> I actually like Damnation. I think I think the sweepers are pretty underrated. Grim Toots. There's your tutor. This might be the breeding pool just better. Whatever. I'll take your Grim Tutor. You guys eat your beans with skin. <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh my god. Yeah, of course. Bean skin is delicious. It's good for the heart. The more skin you eat, the more you fart. <laughs> wow. I just got a YouTube comment. This moment of craving is strictly a worse disfigure. It's just not true. That's not how strictly worse works. I don't even know what moment of craving is. It's a new it's a new negative two, negative two spell. It costs two mana and it, you gain two life. How is that strictly worse? It's not, that's what I'm saying. Take that to see where Oh, come on. Get there. No. Get there. We got we got Bitter Blossom. Why wouldn't you just take Sword of Body in mind? I mean, you could take a good card. Or you <laughs> could take the see where Am I right? No. Yeah. We I have am. no way to add red in this deck. Yeah, you, you put mountains in it. I definitely think Sword of Body Mind is 10,000 times better than Push here. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't push is actually terrible in this cube. It's not good. Oh, we got Lil Jace. Which is also his rap name. Oh, we also have Ophiomancer. Oh, both of those are good. Lil Jace. Lil Jace and Ophiomancer. Lil Jace and Snake Man. I'll take Lil Jace. Blunder Bra with the sub. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. Really appreciate it. That's fair. You do have one creature. Oh my god, what is our one creature? Just thing in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe swords aren't good here. Oh, crying out pack loud. Pack Rat is pretty good, actually. It might actually be Pack Rat. I think it's Ophiomancer. Everyone says Pack Rat. I don't want to discard my cards, though. <laughs> you ever discard cards before, man? It doesn't feel yeah, good. It's good when they kills them. No, I think it's Ophiomancer. You ever made a Pack Rat before? Yeah, and then they kill it. And then I'm like, Literally oh. everyone in chat is like Pack Rat. It'll come back. Don't worry. Oh, is it just Gristlebrand? Or is it Eugene? Eugene's actually a solid win condition. Very solid. So is Gristlebrand, though. If, I mean, we're playing eight for both, right? We're just hard casting both of these. I don't think Packrat is as good in cube because there's just more... Uh, there's more varied answers in the cube. It would also be a way to discard your Gristlebrand so you could exhume it. I don't want to play exhume in the two-creature deck. Why not? <laughs> Because, okay, for one, I don't want to reanimate Ophiomancer. Okay. 
Especially when two of the three I don't need to reanimate. Yeah, I would take Ugin. Yeah, I like Ugin a lot, actually. That's a nice top boy. We actually have one more creature because of better fill. Well, yeah, we also have Bitter Blossom, which is another creature. So, like, we do have things. This is probably a cruise deck. I think it, I think this could be a cruise deck. Could also be an Augur of Bolas deck. I still don't believe he always whiffs, even in this deck. But Augur, um, Augur also uh, carries a sword. That's true. This actually, no, this is a lot of spells, though. I still don't believe. This is 11 spells. I've been hurt too many times by Augur of Bolas. <laughs> This is an 11 in. spell deck. I think this is... If, if there's an auger deck, it's this one, I think. We could also pick up Painful Truths. No, that's going to be two colors. We're just taking auger. You want to pay life for cards in this deck? That's greedy. Hmm. I think it's Creeping Tarpet over Liliana here. Liliana's not that great in this cube. I agree with that. Auger, I and mean, we also have a ton of creature removal. And I think Creeping Tarpet's one of the better... We can also put a sword on that guy, so whatever. Wing condition. Ooh, there's a really good sword. There's also a counterspell. I think it's just counterspell. Mike, you don't know the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no way. Somebody touch my spigot. Oh, I'm just going to take this counterspell, man. Huh. You have no way to splash it. Oh, Oh, I see. Let's take the let's take the Deceiver Exarch. Let's take the Zealous Conscripts. Uh, Deceiver let's take the through is the blue. breach. Now all of a sudden we get Nickel Bolas. And, oh, there's no way to splash that. That's unreasonable. Yeah, exactly. You can go to hell. That's what you can do. <laughs> image. Oh, image is good. Oh, Deluge is good too. Deluge though. is really good. The problem is we can't put a sword on a, an image, but it's still very good. Our deck also has a very low mana curve, which is kind of nice. New Fee Monkey, thank you so much, man. Thank you. Really appreciate you saying so. Could just be Signet, but I don't really like nah. Signet. I like Deluge. You like Deluge over the image? Yeah. Deals with a lot of stuff. We already have Damnation, though. I like Image. I'm going to take Deluge Image. Deluge can kill Blightsteel Colossus. All right. Well, I'm going I'm to take Image. I'm going to take Deluge because you guys want me to take Deluge. Don't say I never gave you anything. All three of these are pretty reasonable. Exarch would not be great here. Don't tell Frank had a, Don't tell your acoustic son to go to hell. Uh, what did you say? What's not good? Exarch. Yeah, it's not good. Is that what you said? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take Shieldred. Oh, hey. You wanna be How does this always happen? We always get all the cards that we wanted. Triggered. Is it just Tassiger? I mean, it's easier to cast it's easier to cast Sigur. yes it's easier to like cast Liliana's Sigur. not great because we're not going to be reanimating anything alright we'll take Tassiger hmm. oh, nah. this deck seems good 1-6 one, 1-7 one, one, alright Lily makes dudes to hold a sword, but that's not as exciting for seven man. I'm thinking I'm taking the Grim Tutor. Yeah, definitely cut that. Do we cut? I think we cut one of these. I think it's a Deluge because I don't want to take a million damage when I don't have to. Yeah, okay. And Damnation kills most things except for Blightsteel Colossus, usually. I still think it's Sword. Like, Sword is just not great for you. I don't think that's true. We have five creatures, plus a Bitter Blossom, plus an Ophiomancer that makes a million dudes, uh, plus a Batter Skull. So that's like seven dudes right there. All it has to do is connect once. Oh, Braids plus Bitter Blossom plus Ophiomancer does seem pretty good. That's pretty insane. I wonder if that's good. Oh, that seems real good, though. Phil is pretty slow. I would rather cut Spell Pierce than Shoulder. Like, this is a deck where I want to have a top end, though, you know? Like, we want to play a big thing after we counter everything they have. <laughs> I 
I love the negative one at one and crush my opponent's dreams where they're like, yeah, going to get to draw a card next. To oh, you just killed it. it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a good time. Not for them. Is it just braids? Do we just braids with Ophiomancer and Bitter Blossom? Team Scree. Why? Because if you don't draw those cards, braids is terrible for you. It's just as good for that. For It's better for us than it is for them. They have to sacrifice the first thing. And we'll always have a braids, which is one more permanent. Uh -huh. I think I'd take out Spell Pierce. I think Spell Pierce is probably the cut here. Sure. Everything else seems very good. All right. Not missing anything. Mm. Okay. All right, cool. We'll do extra islands. So we have six, seven, eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine? Eight, nine? Seems good. Actually, it's nine, nine because of the mocks. And it's actually ten, ten because of Demir segment, which seems fine. We want double black on turn two, and then we also want triple blue, double blue, double blue. 10 10 seems good. It might be. It might be this. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to 9, 10, 11. It might be 9 to 11. I like 9 11 a little better. Especially because Urborg makes everything lopsided anyway. Yeah, I think I like this better. How do you feel about that? Seems fine. Okay. I have to go now. My people need me. All right, man. Well, it was good times. I'll catch you later. Jump in the line. I like 9-11, Frank Lamore. <laughs> well, confirmed, I guess. Oh, you missed it. We got a one lander again. Nine eleven inside Jorb. Dust all. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. We're going to mulligan this hand and keep this one all day. These hands sicken me as well, my friend. Oh, oh, put it on top. Yes, please. Oh my god, my opponent's name is just John. That's amazing. How did you get just John? That's fantastic. Of course, this is... Oh, they won the flip. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they'll they'll five man on turn two. That's a classic. Oof. Here we go. Mm -mm. This is how we died. Here we go. <laughs> You tell your son to go down and he storms off. Happy? <laughs> oh, God, they won two flips? I think we're dead. Not feeling good. Well, this is where the spell pierce comes in, I guess. So, All right, that is not a red mana. Oh, that is a red mana. Oh, I see. Untap your red mana. Untap your mana crypt. Okay. You only have one red. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty good. What is the two mana in this pool for? Now we're just going to scoop. All right. Oh, boy. These round ones have been something else, man. Woo! I'm going to bring out the Damnation because that seems a little ridiculous. Okay. Maybe bring in Mesmeric Fiend? We had neither luck nor fun there, unfortunately.
<laughs> you had that game. Yeah, it was close. I don't know how we... Uh... Uh, let's bring in Mesmeric Fiend. We'll take out Augur of Bolas. Um, yeah, okay. We'll keep this. Is it live or I got bamboozled earlier thinking Frank... What? What are you talking about? <laughs> of course it's live. We're going to play this first so that we can neg we can turn to Mana Leak, ideally. Oh god, again. Oh, we couldn't counter that anyway. This is real... This is real something right now. Oh boy. When I say goodbye on the stream, it's for the YouTube videos because I want to end the YouTube video. Um, put an island in your graveyard? I don't think so. I think we are keeping that. Um, yeah, so I just want to end the YouTube videos with like a, a proper sign off. I would love to play against people who do not get Unreal draws every game, but this looks like a pretty average draw despite the fact that Mentor is good. Uh, they've only attacked for two each turn, so that's pretty reasonable. Put Tassiger into the graveyard. Unfortunately, yes. You do not help our, our situation. Oh god, something's happening. Frantic search. I'm pretty sure we spell pierce this. They have only a white up. I guess they could have mana tithe, so we're not going to actually let that happen. Oh, you pay you floated too. Well, that's unfortunate. Well. Now we have to now we have to mana leak. We just gotta commit to it, I guess. So even if we mana leaked it, it still would have been Wow, I didn't even see them float too. That is unfortunate. They got us with the float too. Hmm. I'm just going to play this and assume they don't have anything. Because we just can't keep taking a million from Monastery Mentor and Monk every turn. Lost the flip. They're at 10. Yeah, there's this weird there's this weird bug where uh, for a second Ulamog will flip into whatever the card is on the stack. It's real quick, so you gotta like you gotta look for it, but it does happen, and it's kind of strange. 
Okay, this could be good if they don't have anything here. Hmm. We're definitely blocking. I mean, if they want a two for one and uh, trade like a lightning helix or something, that's fine. I have no idea. Oh, Inferno Titan, I see. That's very good. That is very good. What are you going to be? Swamp? Yeah, you can go in the graveyard. Because we're just going to draw another land anyway. Hmm. Three cards, huh? Do they have Mana Leak? That is the question. Or not Mana Leak, Mana Tithe. That is the question. They've taken nine damage from Mana Crypts. Yeah, we're just going to tap their board and draw a card here. Or we tap their board and bounce the Inferno Titan. I really want the extra card here. Uh, as far as Patrick Sullivan's thoughts on Chupacabra, I agree with them completely. I think uh, I think Magic has been going that direction for a long time. And for those who haven't seen it, just you can probably check it out on whatever social media Patrick Sullivan is on. Hmm. Bouncing Inferno Titan seems good. I guess we could actually bounce Inferno Titan and then draw. And here's hoping you just weren't sandbagging the Mana Tide this whole time. One, two, three, four, five, six. If we can hit a land and flip our search, it's actually insane. Because we have six cards in here, so if we mill one and then hit a land, I think it's very good. Either way, we're definitely putting a land in the graveyard because we get a free land here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> uh, one more. Here's hoping you don't have Counterspell, I guess. Oh, we did good. All right. How do I feel about tequila? I actually don't drink, so... I have no real feelings on tequila, one way or another. The problem is that if they Inferno Titan, they can put Ugin down to six, which means we can't negative six Ugin and exile everything without losing Ugin. So we do have to have an answer for Inferno Titan, but we do get the top card and we also get to search for like a go for the throat or a murderous cut, which is pretty good. And they're at seven. That's pretty good. We can almost kill them actually. We can go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. If we draw land, they're dead, right? That might do it. Feelings on public public's chicken tender sub, strong. I think Creeping Tarpit's going to seal the deal here. Woof! Get creeping. Get busy creeping. That was pretty okay.
I feel like we might want Damnation now that we've seen uh, Inferno Titan and Monastery Mentor. What can we cut? What was not? Thing in the Ice doesn't seem that great. <sighs> Seems like they have a lot of things to kill our Thing in the Ice. Yeah, I'm not a big Thing in the Ice fan here. I'm okay with what's happening, so... These, these hands, man. God, it's so bad. This is actually better. I mean, I don't like the Ugin here. Ancestral Vision would be great off the top. Or Mox, or a Signet. Island can go. We just have stronger cards. So we both went to six. I guess that's fine. That's a dude. Yeah, Mike was gone. Mike had to, Mike has to work in the morning. Mike has to work at like 10 a.m., so he's got to get out of here. Oh, you have a Mox and a Mana Crypt. I see. Well, I don't hate Monastery Mentor for two, which means you're not spelling us. That's actually pretty good. Next turn we can Jace and then Damnation, or vice versa. What up, Tanos? I did not pre-release yet. I'll be pre-releasing for one time to... Mm, Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Redland, Splinter Twin. Oh, no Redland. Taunus with the five month sub. You are awesome, buddy. Yeah, our six month anniversary will be around Valentine's Day. True story. I'm going to Damnation now because Deceiver Exarch and Monastery Mentor in the Graveyard uh, seem good. But apparently our opponent has other plans. Because, <sighs> I mean, what goes better with your Mana Crypt Mox Pearl deck than a Mana Drain, I guess, for four? Hmm. Thomas, about Vegas, I would love to go. I've just It's too far out right now. I can't. I don't know if I can make plans six months in advance. But I would love to go, and I'd love to take you up on that offer. Yep, that's what we figured was going to happen, sure. Yep, don't know how we win this now, considering this was the one card we needed to actually stabilize. All right, well. Did not see Mana Drain in all three games, so. Pretty sure we're actually just dead. They kill this. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. That'll do. If we had one more... Nope, nothing Nothing we could have drawn would have actually helped there. Yep. Yeah, there's no way we can play around Mana Drain. We just have to go for it. Because if they get... They have Kiki Jiki and they played Sacred Foundry. So if they're mating for one land and a Kiki Jiki, then we just lose. So, I mean, we literally have to get rid of Monastery Mentor and Deceiver Exarch when we're able to. So, unfortunately, we were not able to. You know, it's it's. I think the frustrating part about Vintage Cube is uh, it's when you have multiple pieces of power. <laughs> like, I mean, I know that's, that's like that's Vintage Cube. You know, you, you accept that that's the case, right? Like, people are going to draw power, people are going to draft power. But when they have like Mana Drain, Mox, Mana Crypt, um, it gets a little frustrating, especially when they draw at least one of them each game. Because I think at that point it doesn't come down to who has the better deck. It comes down to like. Who is drawing? Like it's basically the uh, the same thing as vintage 
uh, which is why Johnny Cats, good games, man. Um, which is why like Legacy doesn't have a restricted list because they don't want Legacy to come down to who draws their um, their restricted cards first, right? Like you don't want it to come down to that. <laughs> yeah, good. I mean, your draws are good though. Um, but I mean, that's Vintage Cube for you. What can you do? It's hard to get super upset um, when that happens though, just because you're like, eh, that's just the the name of the game. I I, think I used to get upset with vintage cube losses, but now I'm just like, ooh, that's frustrating. But oh well, keep 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 at it. I like our deck, even if our deck, oh god, even if our deck isn't like busted, I think it's still good. Johnny's pretty annoying though. I guess we just play search here. I like search here. Um, I like that that fairy rogues can start pressuring a Johnny. I think it's hilarious that they have swamp forest and they cast it. I think it's funny that they have swamp for. All right. I see. I see you don't want to have fun here, and they didn't even cast the land. That's sad. Batter skull, yeah. You, unfortunately, you can go in the graveyard. I do not foresee you being uh, of use here. Well, we're coming out of Johnny here. I like to play creeping tar pit, but I'd also like to just start activating Jace. So we're gonna do that. Okay, other Jace. <laughs> Seems good. I am okay with that. Search Jace. Jace seems like pretty good card filtering. Oh, wow. All right. You're just playing Mono Planeswalkers off of Mox Diamond Sylvan Carriata. That's pretty good. Joke's on you. I don't have any creatures. Murderous Cut in your graveyard? Yes. You do nothing for me. Eh, Mana Leak's not terrible. That's good, but God, I really want to play... Uh, I really want to play Jace eventually. I mean, they're just going to tap Tarpit down anyway, so we're really just giving them one more. Traverse? No, you can have a Traverse. Mono Jace dot deck. Oh, they exiled our Ugin. That's sad. Play your forest. Forest for a forest. Yeah, Ashiok. I think Ashiok is super gross in the cube. I think Ashiok's one of the most underrated planeswalkers. Cryptic Command? No, that's that's what we're talking about here. Let's draw three. Put a Damnation back. Put a thing in the ice back. I don't care about either of those.
Let's both draw. I'll give you a card. Do we just actually try to tick Jace up all the way? Oh, hey, it's this guy. What plays the rectangle real good? What's going on, Juposhi? Two lands and a damnation. More than fine. We are at 13 cards, though, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, we're just going to start jacing and, and trying to tick Jace up. Uh, let's counter and bounce. That seems good. And they played a land this turn, right? Yeah, they played a forest, so that's great. Three to our face. Uh, oh, are you just killing our big Jace? Or are you just dealing three to our big Jace? Oh, a little Jace. Okay. So now we get to kill your Ajani with Creeping Tar Pit. Oh, I see. Things are happening right now. We only have... You know, we have Ashiok and one other card? And we can... Is it... It's going to be... No, it can't be... I guess it could be Woodfall Primus. Acidic Slime on Creeping Tar Pit. I see. That's unfortunate. On search for Escanta. Okay. That was probably the best we could have hoped for. Uh, put Thoughtseize on the bottom. Do we care about Thoughtseize? One, two, three, activate. One, two... I don't think we care about go for the throat. One, two, three. They can play around mana leak, which is frustrating. But we have tar pit. Thoughts in the bottom. No, you can have thought seize. That's fine. We can also just block. I mean, we know it's in their hand. They only have one card, and it's Ashiok. So that's interesting. I mean, we just have to, like... We have to ultimate Jace before they ultimate... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they're going to take Mana Leak here. Which is fine. You can play Ashiok. Put us to nine cards. And then we get to kill... No, not yet, I guess. Sword, Island, and Shieldred. Okay, that's pretty strong. I mean, we can't actually Compulsive or Factor Fiction here, which is unfortunate. Put on the bottom? No, nah, you can have that. All right, so you put us to five, and then we have five turns to ultimate Jace, and you have an island in hand. Pretty good, pretty good. What do you get? A Tassiger. All right, all our threats are gone, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's only two lands in our deck. Oh, we just win the game. All right. That's interesting. I guess we can just lock them out forever. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Jace the Mind Sculptor, ladies and gentlemen. Impressive gentleman. Alright, so definitely bringing in Spell Pierce based on their 
suite of planeswalkers, Damnation can come out. Mesmeric Fiend also seems pretty good here. Thing in the Ice, again, pretty me mediocre. Jace did seem better than White Mox there. You are not wrong. Uh, this hand is gas. Turn one, auger. Turn two, keep up, go for the throat. Turn three, cryptic command. Never mind. That is sad. Good lord. I want to cry because my mox is gone. I thought we was friends. All right, let's see if we can hit here. Watch, we're going to put Jace the Mind Sculptor on the bottom. Ready? Oh, we get a Spell Pierce in two lands. That's actually ideal. Next turn we can uh, keep up Spell Pierce and go for the throat. Well, they can play a Johnny here, which is nice. They can play Ashiok, but they're not going to. Oh, yes, they are. I clearly have made a mistake. <laughs> well, we're going to get aggressive and just keep up... Uh, keep up Spell Pierce, I guess. I do like having Creeping Tar Pit. It's pretty good against Planeswalkies. God, stop exiling my library. God, Tasker, or what's his name, just takes so many cards. Ashiok. You have cryptic command. Activate attack for three, goes down to three, they plus it up to five, and then we can only deal a little bit of damage. I think I'd rather just keep up. I think we just take a hit for three and then we cryptic command and try to uh oh oh that's great okay sure interesting no no sacrifice there huh okay yeah that's fine Yep, that's not great. Yeah, three lands is always fine, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have seven lands left in our deck. So our maximum amount of mana is 18. And we have two cards in hand. What does that do? I'm actually just going to bounce Ashiok here. <gasps> wow, that was a good draw. Also a reasonable draw. Oof, I'm a fan. Ugin, one, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, we're just going to take Ashiok here. Because that is the scariest of the cards. Uh, 
All right, that was pretty good. Wow. Wow, I'm like impressed with how good uh, Ms. Miric Fiend was there. With our mocks and our Demir Signet gone, uh, we have to actually naturally draw four more lands to cast this Ugin, so. We still have double Jace in our deck. It's pretty okay. Double Jace. Okay, that guy's gone. So you're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six mana from this guy's land. So your hand is Ugin Frailies. And whatever you drew this turn. So this is six total mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we actually, I'm pretty sure we spell pierce if it's not Ugin. Frailies is strong, it gets rid of Bitter Blossom. Ugin's also strong, exiling two is just insane. Nothing. All right. I probably should have go for the throat of the. If we just kill the cobra, I think they're actually in really bad shape here. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, that means like their lands are not live to cast Ugin. And we have a much better chance of like just killing, uh, countering Frailies and then just hoping they just whiff on two lands. Interesting. So they hit, they hit a land and they didn't play it last turn. Okay. So they're just playing around Spell Pierce. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I mean, I feel like three fairies is actually more than enough to get the job done here. Wow, that's pretty good. I guess we just play that here. So we know their last card is Ugin, which they need 10 mana for. I'm okay with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, that's close. Uh, I mean, you kind of have to do it, right? You can't wait a turn. One, two, three, four, five, because otherwise you just sort of body and mind on like. Sort of body and mind does not kill you. One. Oh, yeah, all right, that's the game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why wouldn't you just try to play Ugin there unless you're like ghosting and you know I have Spell Pierce in hand? Like if you Ugin there in negative two, like, and if I don't have counter, you just win, right? That's kind of weird. That's a weird play. Did I have it since he thought seized? Oh, we got it from the auger. Never mind. They knew we had spell pierce. Okay, that's cool. Makes sense. I totally forgot that was like 10 years ago. All right. Appreciate that, guys. Good good catch. Good catch. This is where the YouTube chats, the YouTube comments are like, um, you got it off the auger, you dummy. And I'm going to be like, oh, touche. Oh my god, these hands, guys. These hands, dude. They were ghosting without even ghosting. <sighs> I'm gonna keep this hand because maybe there's a land, there's not, but we still got a, a mullet, we still got a scry, and we get an ancestral vision on turn one. And if we get an Urborg, we can him. If we don't, we can just play Augur if we get a regular land, so. Ugh. Not thrilled. Oh, I see. Rude.
the cake keeping my baby away. Regular land, please. I guess we don't need a land this turn, but we got one. That's pretty good. Whew. Still got that Urborg opportunity. I'm okay with it. It's late, 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 and Mike B went away. He went away to bed today. That's how that's how the version would go if you're singing about Mike B. It's gotta be three it's gonna be swamp swamp herborg. Watch this, you ready? Are you ready? Oh my god, are you just gonna Oh okay, I was like, are you just gonna counter this? He's not in the kitchen, especially not with onions. After seeing the entire set, do you think standard will change without a banning? Um, I haven't seen the entire set, actually. I'm going to actually, after this draft, I'm going to continue my set review, which you can also find on YouTube. And um, I will be playing in a pre-release tomorrow. too, had a giant pre-release with my buddy Robert, so. I will let you know by then. Okay, we whiffed. But I do think there's going to be a banning come Monday. I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's even a question. I could be completely wrong, and uh, depending on what happens, I will make a video about it, and I'll put that bad boy up on YouTube. So if you guys aren't following me on YouTube, go to YouTube and hit that subscribe button. It's youtube.com slash Frank Lepore. And uh, depending on what happens Monday, we'll uh, we'll see. We'll get some thoughts. I don't think there's any merit to not banning cards like a tune or even like Aether Hub. Um, they're just very good. They're just too... They make they make the deck too consistent, and you just don't need that. Oh, on a consistent... On a consistency level, this might be the worst two years of standard ever. That's an interesting... Uh, that's an interesting perspective. Like, the problem is, like, even if there is something in the new set, is it better than energy? And the answer is probably no. Wow, that's rude. How many cards do we get to draw? Not not next turn, huh? Okay. Oh, oh, that's pretty that's that's juicy. As long as you don't have spell pierce. Oh, Ulamog and Memory Jar. I wonder what you have left. That's interesting. These are two very interesting cards. One's like a reanimation slash uh, sneak attack target. The other is like a storm card. Through the Breach, Emrakul, watch. These are the two cards left in your hand. <laughs> the problem is with energy nerfed, Scarab... Oh. Oh my god. Really? Okay. Okay, we did good. We did good. If energy gets nerfed and it's Scarab God everywhere, Scarab Guard is easier to manage because you don't have to deal with the energy decks. Like, this is not... It's not like a situation... Someone mentioned, like, how, oh, if they ban energy, it's just going to be Remy Nap Red. But it's not, because the decks that couldn't deal with energy can now focus on Remy Nap Red. Oh, Cryptic Command, Jace, Counters... Oh, this hand is great. This hand is all the things I want to be doing. Do we Jace here, or do we, like, keep up a Counterspell and end of turn Factor Fiction? Yeah, there's like six graveyard dealing with cards in standard right now. It's pretty insane. Um, I have to assume they don't have anything. Otherwise, they would have sneaked attack, sneaked attacked it. 
So I think Jace is actually pretty safe here, but they do have top, so it doesn't really do much. I think we just pass here. Right, that's the thing about Ramy Nap Red. Like, it's interactable, right? Like, if I if I wipe your board, usually that's good enough. And they don't have negates, so... <laughs> you just never had it. I never had Ramy Nap Red. You just ne Sorry, buddy. I think the green-blue Merfolk deck in Standard could actually be pretty sweet now. There's a ton of, of, of really cool merfolks. Merfolk? Merfolks? Don't care about that. It does give you a white. I don't know if you needed a white or not, but we're gonna fact we're gonna foff. EOT FOF. GG. Oh, I like Bitter Blossom. Can we go land Signet Bitter Blossom? Oh, we can and still have two mana up. That's pretty good. People of Murph? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. I loved Time Spiral Standard. That was that format was probably one of my favorite standard formats ever. Um, specifically because of the amount of decks you could play. Like there was a lot of tier one decks in that format. Oh, this is a good split. I'm I'm impressed with this split. I'm going to choose pile two, though. It just seems better. It's funny because islands are just better than swamps at this point. So next turn we can go Jace keep up counter spell. Or even... Batter Skull, keep up Counterspell. Skulls and Spells, that's what I call this deck. I, I don't call it that. The king, 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 took my baby away. Also, if you guys haven't uh, subbed or if you guys have subbed and you haven't done so, make sure to connect the your Discord account and your Twitch account because you get access to the subscriber Discord channel, which has been absolutely awesome. It's pretty lively in there. It's so strange they haven't done anything yet. I'm tempted to actually bounce sneak attack here. And then we can just keep up uh, Counterspell and Jace. Because if they play something like Sundering Titan, it's really bad. See, the problem is if they play Sundering Titan. Like, I'm, I'm really afraid of Sundering Titan because uh, it, then it's going to kill, like, Island Swamp because these are all swamps. And then on the way out, it kills Island Swamp. So it literally kills four of our lands. So one, two, three, four, Jace Aruski. Like, there's actually no point in uh, in plussing. Oh, Mana Lake's very good here. So is Mox Jet. That's actually fantastic. Because now we have two counter spells, which is just great. I have the reverse Mana Lands, EG River of Tears, and it's not currently existing counterparts. That would be actually pretty sweet. This Augur Bolus is doing the work. That feeling you stay up late to watch rank, then getting tired, but also starting to get real hungry, so you have to stay up and watch more. Yeah, man, that's how it goes. That's the old, uh, that's the, that's the train that we put you on. Keep on, keep on eating and then not sleeping and staying up. And after this, we're going to do the set review. We're going to finish up the set review. So, uh, be sure you guys stick around for that. I'm just going to counter this. It doesn't, it might not even do anything, but it's scary enough. We can, I feel like we can deal with most other things. And we still got a leak. 
That also doesn't scare me because they have top already, so like... Also, compulsive research is real good. We compulsive research in Jason. We're looking at a lot of cards here. One, two, three. <laughs> target myself because why would I ever target you with that? I'll discard one land. It'll be a swamp because it's strictly worse than, than islands at this point. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. We're just going to play this and try to flip it, I guess. We're looking for this Ugin. I don't know. We have 12 cards left. Where's our Ugin? Where are my Ugins at? Is this 10 or 20 cards? I always, it's 10. I always get him and Ulamog confused. Sword and Body Mind and Ulamog confused. I definitely want to keep up both Mana Leak and go for the Throat. Because the only way we lose here is if we lose, if we let them like... Resolve like an Inferno Titan or something, which is pretty good. Yep, that is exactly why we kept up our our mana leak shields. So the only thing they can have is uh, spell pierce, which we can pay for. All right, I think we're flipping search here. Maybe yes. Put island into my graveyard. Yeah, we can transform it. That's fine. Ugin. That's not it. Keep looking. That's also not it. So we go one, two, three. Sword. I imagine this is going to do it. Ugin is at the very end. We put him on the bottom with Augur. Oh my god. Little things like this. There's so much going on in, in these games that I'm like, oh, I just forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot. We don't, we don't actually have any ways to shuffle our library either, so. They have no cards in hand. That's pretty good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, so they have an Ulamog and a Through the Breach. And a Sundering. They did have Sundering Titan. That's pretty terrifying. Well, I guess we got to try to win next turn. We can actually activate Ascanta this turn. Yeah, now, now Sundering Titan is significantly less scary. I'll just like, I'll block and you can kill two of my lands. Unfortunately, God, Urborg makes Creeping Tarpet a swamp, so it's like... Oh god, did they just top deck Sundering Titan? Oh, they have one... Here comes Sneak Attack, yep. And then they put S Sensei's Divining Top back on top. No, okay. Alright. Reasonable. All right, any order. So now we are no longer with Ugin on the bottom. Let's actually do this again here. Because we definitely have enough mana. Yep, that's the dude. Draw a card. One, four, five, six. And I think we just win. Three, four, five... 
Not yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we could have batter skulled, but I they have access to three cards. I don't know. I don't think giving them one more turn when they go to uh when they go to four. Or they go to one actually thanks to Ugin. I don't think that's actually that bad. <laughs> Let's just plus. Oh wow. <laughs> Yeah, put that on the bottom of your library. That's, oh my god. If they topped in response, they could have drawn this, sneak attacked it, and killed us, right? Is that true? Um, do we just exile all fours? It gets sort of Jace and Augur. But we do get to keep creeping Tarpit and kill them next turn, and they don't get the sneak attack. I think actually with Ulamog on the bottom, I think we're okay. Wow, that was so lucky. They could have topped, put that second to the bottom, second to the top, and then just topped us. Because we have six cards in our library. Would, would there be anything we can do? Do we have any way to put a card on the bottom of our library? I don't think so. Wow, that would have been such a ridiculous win. Oh my god. Wow, it's like when you see the bullet whiz by your head. Well, it's not Ulamog, so that's good. That's fine. At Jace. Nah. So they go to seven. Um, we can attack with Creeping Tar Pit and shoot them. And then they have no cards in hand. I guess they could have one of three. What up, Tomax of Dagger Spine? Oh, we could have actually Ugand and, and got rid of Sneak. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, they wouldn't have had mana for. We could just murderous cut bounce one. I think we're going to do that. Oh, we're topping. Yeah, so we definitely had outs to the Ugin. But it was just funny because, like... Or the Ulamog, rather. But, I mean, it's just funny because... It's still pretty good. I mean, they don't know that. Like, we don't... They don't know we have Ugin. So... So three, four, five, we get to I guess there's no reason not to activate creeping tar pit here. So even if you block here, you take three, four, five. Oh, draw on a card. You don't have double, you don't have triple blue, so you can't cryptic command. Mystic Confluence? Torrential Gear Hulk. Okay. Through the Breach? You don't have any cards in hand. All right. 
Can't mana leak. Oh, you can fire ice. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Any way to save that? I don't think so. That's pretty good. You still got a one again? Ugh, this is frustrating. All right, Sundering Titan gone. Seems good. Blightsteel Colossus. That guy got shuffled back in. All right. Mitch Barbobblyboo went to sleep. It was too late for him. Mike's got to work at like 10 a.m. every day, so he gets out of here pretty early. I, however, just stream for you guys like a maniac. I'm gonna get a drink refill after this after this match, and we are going to uh, or after this this draft. Um, oh, I guess it, I guess it is after this match, and we are going to uh, finish our Rivals of Ixalan set review. So. Hopefully, you guys will stick around for that. And we finally win. Good lord. What a grindy game. Spell Pierce is definitely coming in. Mesmeric Fiend also has been MVP. Go for the Throat seems pretty bad. It doesn't kill Indestructible Ulamog. It doesn't kill Sundering Titan. It doesn't kill Torrential Gearhook. It doesn't kill Warm Coil Engine. It's pretty, pretty miserable. Damnation doesn't seem great. Um, so we brought in Mesmeric Fiend and Spell Pierce. I also don't hate Nizumi Short Fang. But I don't love it either. I think this is good. I think we brought in Mesmeric Fiend and Spell Pierce more than more than we would we would like to admit. This hand is great again, unless they go turn one thought sees us, which I don't think they're going to do. I don't think they have the black mana to do such a thing. Top again, sure. I uh, I have not played any pre-releases. I'm going to play in one tomorrow uh, or today, however you want to look at it, on Sunday at 5:30. It's a two-headed giant, so that's going to be that's going to be sweet. But um, yeah, like I don't know this 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 set seems like it seems great for constructed. I'm I'm really a fan of what it might do. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of cool cards. However, you named Jace the Mind Sculptor with this. That seems like a great choice. Um, however. I don't know if Limited feels much different than Rivals of Ixalan 2.0. Or uh, Ixalan 2.0, rather. Does that make sense? Oh, we get to look at our hand first and then name a card, and that's pretty good. I want to play Orborg here because any future island is just better because of it. Uh, whereas if we play Swamp and I guess we don't need... What did they name? They named Jace. Okay. Well, I do like having the Spell Pierce. I don't like having an 8-drop and 2 Delve cards. Oof, that's a little... That's interesting, but you do have 3 cards in hand. But you do have a lot of artifacts as well, so. And that is the kind of... Uh, we do get to play Murderous Cut next turn, so that's pretty cool. The Flan Tribal decks are just as stupidly fast as Ixalan, though. Yeah, that's... 
I could see I could see you looking at the top three, organizing them, putting top on top so that you can have an extra artifact in hand. Because even if you have two artifacts, uh, top and one other, and like a worm coil, you get to activate this, add two, and then add two, add four, and then add two more, so you get to play the worm coil. Oh, I see. Well, that's not an artifact though. Attack with Metal Worker? Woo, aggressive. I almost want to murderous cut the Metal Worker. One, two, three. Yeah, I think we just, I think we honestly just murderous cut the Metal Worker to be like one, two, three, four, five. They'd have five mana. It's not as scary. Some type of way. Yeah, I'm just going to Murderous Cut this guy. If they play Worm Coil Engine, we don't want to Murderous Cut that. If they play Sundering Titan, we definitely just don't want them to do that. We also don't... We just don't want them to have, like, infinite mana. Yep, top it up. They are sending me a message with Metal Worker. <laughs> You're not wrong. What a degenerate Metal Worker... That guy died. He hath died. Strip mine. Oh, they're going to get rid of Urborg. Which is actually fine. We, we were sandbagging a swamp because we just didn't need it. But also, that's good for Tassiger, too. We can play Tassiger and keep up Spell Pierce. That's interesting. Sweet Tassie Molassi. That is a beautiful baby boy. Oh, Sensei's divining top. You are good times. Libel Intel, what's going on? Long time no see, buddy. Oh, they're going to draw a card. Main phase, draw a card. Through the breach. You have no mana floating? Alright. No. Don't do that. Oh, we got him. <laughs> That's all it took, I guess. Oh, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Our, I, I liked our deck a lot, and I think uh, it did fairly well, considering the broken start our first round opponent had. Um, otherwise, I think this looks pretty much what you want out of a control deck. Uh, lots of card drawing, lots of really good counter spells, and uh, a decent amount of planeswalkers. And some power, so whatever. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time.